Yo, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna do a GTR R34 tune in Forza Horizon 4. I'm doing this because this is literally my favorite car and I already got the best things on it, but I wanna show you all how I got it and what you need to do to have the most horsepower out of this car. All right, so we are here at the tuning uh, shop, the upgrade shop, it's whatever you wanna call it. You see our car is now rank B 691 so that's pretty bad we're gonna we're going to change this car in a S2 and that's the that's the second best you have the X that's the best but all right let's jump straight into it we're gonna start with see the engine upgrade so let's see the engine swap we have a uh, nor on stock powertrain swap and we can change that in a V8 and we are of course going to do that because it's plus 88 horsepower so let's go then we have our drivetrain swap we're gonna see what we can get we can get a rear rear wheel drive but we don't want to do that you you going to what you're going to do that if you want them to turn good but i don't want them to turn good i want them to drift because this is obviously a drift car let's uh, keep it by the stock drivetrain and that's an all-wheel drive so let's see so we can do the twin turbo and that's plus 127 horsepower we can do a supercharger or we can do another supercharger it's all the same but i think you need to have to look at these stats you see my mouse yes because i'm playing with controller and then you don't see my mouse you see here by, by the the normal twin turbo you have 10 launch and 8.9 acceleration and 7.3 speed but you lose your handling and your braking let's see by this so look at the difference it's nothing nothing change but if you look to the horsepowers you got more horsepowers by the supercharger when you start so you see here at the launch you have more by the supercharger than by the twin turbo so i would take the supercharger which supercharger you want you have to look at the stats that i just showed you by the centrif all right i can't say that word centrifugal supercharger you have 9.9 .9. and by the positive displacement supercharger you have 10. so i would take the first one because you have more all right next we go to our engine and this is where we're gonna tune it to the top so notice now you have a 764 and see what we're gonna get at the end and especially when we put the turbo on it or the supercharger or whatever you want to call it all right let's go with this you can all you can do this all to the max you see it's uh, plus so many horsepower plus 14 horsepower look at this 12 horsepowers 16 horsepowers 139 horsepowers 14 horsepowers 26 horsepowers 17 horsepowers and now the supercharger look at that 172 horsepower don't look at the acceleration just look at the curve look at this curve look <laughs> look how fast it goes i already got this so i don't need to pay for it because it was already installed for me all right let's go to the intercooler the max one it slow you down a bit but it gave you more horsepower at the end all right the other cooler the race oil cooler is plus eight horsepower so install the flywheel the best one install and now the next we go to the platform and handling let's go for the brakes best brakes of course all right and this is interesting you can get sport spring for if you want to race normal you can have race brakes for pure for racing you can have your rally for if you do dirt racing but you can have also drift and that's extremely low this doesn't really matter a lot just if you want to race pick these but if you really want to drift pick these don't pick these if you want to race don't take it just looks cool if you want to race with this car don't pick this right just pick the drift or the race i'm going to take the drift because i only drift with this car all right this also the max so the max all right don't place a roll cage in it because it 
give you so much more weight. You don't need that, you don't want that. It looks like it gives you more acceleration and handling, but look at the stats, they, they changed nothing. They, they really changed nothing. But it gave you so much more weight and we don't want to wait, wait if you want to race, if you want to be fast, we don't want that. So nothing, just classic. Right here you need to install the race weight reduction because that loses weight a lot. <laughs> A lot of weight so you see it loses 635 pounds and that's really a lot and costs you a lot of time in a race so install these then we go on to the drive train we're gonna take the best clutch of course if you play with clutch if you don't play with clutch don't do this because it's useless but if you play with clutch if you're playing with a uh, with a controller with clutch or with a uh, wheel and pedals and you use the clutch then install this right next we have the transmission also the best transmission the best drive lane and the best differential right let's go to the wheels for the wheels you if you want to race pick these or these it doesn't really matter it's the same with with the forza advertisements on all right if you want if you pick these this is for dirt racing but this this is pure for drag don't turn with these because you want you are going to slip away and you're gonna lose everything just for straight racing just pick the race wheels if you want to race with this car all right the wheels yes big wheels always nice they they add a bit of speed but for the rest and uh, they also uh, adds uh, big handling so i would uh, take the big wheels for the rims you want to look at this here down you see how many weight you gain or lose by choosing this rim this rims sorry uh i would look for one like this you see it's weight minus 25 if you pick this it's only minus 12 and this gives you a lot more speed so i'm going to look for some nice wheels so like this these are nice all right Next we have the front rim size. I would leave it stock because it's just faster, you slow down and your handling is better if you uh, change it to bigger. So I would leave it like it is. All right, and now the, the track white, I would pick the largest one because for drifting it really helps, it really adds up the handling if you want to drift. So just install this. If you want to race, you don't have to install it. But if you want to drift, and this is looks like a bit like a drift car, so I would install this. Right now we're gonna go to the appearance, and this really changes the thing. You see, you don't think this changes a lot, but you see at the stats, it really matters. So I would pick the Forza one, I don't know why. This one is always better, but it changes your handling. But I don't know why, I think it's because of the wing at the front here, at the front of the bumper. I don't know the name of it right now, but it doesn't matter all right for the spoiler take take the forza because it's the coolest one is the original one so let's go the back has hasn't the forza one so just keep it stock it really looks nice stock so and for the skirt i would also leave it stock you can change it but it will uh, decrease your handling a bit right and then we have everything so you see we started at a a or a b car it was a b car if i'm not wrong and now we go to an S2 car from 933. For such a cheap car, is that really, really good? All right, let's see how fast this thing really is. We're gonna start at the line, not gonna start from the fence. So, yes, all right, that's good. We go in first gear and we're gonna count from three. Three, two, one, go. So at the drag strip he, he gets 156 if I'm not wrong. Uh, yes, my best is a lot more of course you saw that. But uh, it's pretty good for a cheap car. Maybe you're gonna check on the highway how uh, fast you can get. Alright guys, let's see what you can get out of this car. I'm here at the highway. So uh, I hope you can get a good maybe 250 miles per hour. It would be nice. Maybe it's a, it's a bit much. Let's see. Now we normally can get 
maximum is uh, 246 like we of 236 like we saw. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna run into that car. All right, gear up. But I it probably can be more, but I'm not sure. But it's already pretty fast. Oh yeah, no, not gonna run in that car. I want to have a clean run to see how fast we can get. All right, let's go. 212, 224. All right, at the highway we can get 223. That's quite a lot, but I we normally could get 236 point so much. But I don't know uh, where we can get it because the highway is the only straight way we can find. So it's a pretty good speed for a cheap car. It's you don't really have to pay for this car. You can get it from leveling in a sort in a certain class, but I don't know any. So uh, the cost from for this car would be around one hundred thousand for the fully upgrade, and I'm gonna run and then that roundabout. That's not what we want. I'm running in this roundabout. Uh, so just like I said, 100,000. Yeah, all right. For this car, uh, fully tuned. You get it free, you need to pay the tune. And for the rest, watch the video to see what you want to do on it. But uh, I think I'm gonna leave you here, guys. I hope I see you in the next video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, please. I'm, uh, this is my first video, so, and I'm all right. Good. This, this is my first video on this channel. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you want to see more this type of videos from uh, tuning cars, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I see you next time. Bye.